Hi, I'm Christina Tozzi. I am the founder of Milk Bar, which is this quirky American style bakery um, that started in New York City, but it's actually all over the United States. And I believe in the power of dessert, especially cake and the ways in which we use cake to tell our stories. Um, this is my second book about the power of cake and how every single cake has a story. Now, this book, Just the Right Cake, is about a young guy named Phil. And you're gonna hear all about his life, what he's going through. And at the very end, you get your very own cake recipe. Let's dig in. Just the Right Cake by Christina Tozzi, that's me, <laughs> of Milk Bar. Illustrated by Emily Balsley. It was a rainy day. A perfect day to bake a cake, thought Phil. But if it had been a sunny day, Phil would have thought the same thing. Every day was a perfect day to bake a cake, if you asked him. Especially when you baked with other people. Phil loved baking with his mom and dad. Today, though, he was baking with just his mom for the first time. They made the same cake as always, double chocolate, his favorite. But something was missing. That weekend, Phil went to his dad's new apartment. The kitchen was different, but the recipe was the same, double chocolate. Dad liked it, but to Phil, it didn't taste quite right. What's wrong? Is it the chocolate chips? That was Phil's dad. It wasn't the chips. Or the frosting? It wasn't the frosting. Phil wasn't sure. He just knew the cake wasn't the same. The next day, Phil made peanut butter cookies with his friend, Sammy. Peanut butter was Phil's number one best snack. He told Sammy about the two cakes that hadn't tasted quite right. Sammy told Phil that she thinks every cake has a story. And sometimes stories change. Maybe Phil had a new story to tell. Phil rode his bike and thought about what Sammy had said. His life with his parents was different now. So maybe his story was different too. Phil decided to try something new. He asked his mom what dessert she loved. Gooey chocolate brownies, she said. They were perfect. The next time Phil saw his dad, they made a campfire in the backyard. Phil and dad toasted marshmallows and made s'mores. Dad said they were his favorite, and Phil could see why. They were delicious. But something still didn't feel quite right. The brownies were yummy, and the s'mores were great too. But what was Phil's dessert? What cake would tell his story? The next day, Phil went to the grocery store with his mom, and all of a sudden, his imagination lit up. There were so many ingredients to choose from. When Phil got home, he rushed into the kitchen to make his new cake. The three layers were gooey chocolate brownie cake that his mom would love. Between the layers, Phil spread graham crackers and gooey marshmallow cream like the s'mores his dad loved. Then Phil added the last touch. This wasn't double chocolate frosting. It was something new. Peanut butter frosting, inspired by his favorite snack. Phil stepped back and looked at what he'd made. A chocolate brownie PB s'mores layer cake. He knew he had never tasted anything like this before. It was new and different, but different could be great. New could be exciting and special. An adventure. Phil was ready to see where his story would take him next. Thanks for reading along with me. I hope this inspires you to embrace what's so unique and special about you and maybe even to get into the kitchen and start baking.